Hello guys, welcome to another video here. As you can see, I finished one of my um, sewing projects. Uh, in this case, you are looking at the, um, I guess I, I can call it um, tactical admin visor panel, <laughs> something along that, that line. Uh, it's um, just a cover for the visor of my car, for the uh, driver's side. Um, with a, a few pieces of webbing, molly webbing, uh, elastic and velcro and whatnot. But let me talk to you about how to create one of these. I started with the uh, with the sketch of my um, visor. As you can see, it's a fairly small. Um, first of all, I tried to create uh, one that fits the the full size of the visor, but then I uh, realized that it's um, it's a really complicated design because it has all the uh, curves and not even a, a single straight line, which is a uh, it's a really pain in the butt um, to create something like that. So I decided to make it smaller with all the features that I need and I realized that 14 by 20 it's uh, in centimeters it's uh, the size that I um, that it's uh, good for all the features that I wanted to add so I cut two pieces of cordura on that size uh, just a, a little bit more uh, um, a, a little bit bigger than 14 by 20 and I stitched it all together like a sandwich so you can see that you don't have the uh, borders because uh, they are um, on the inside. I will make a, a, diff a separate video on the um, details, for example, how to make um, this kind of a uh, box or a sleeve, um, how to uh, make the uh, box stitch it for the uh, velcro and latches and that kind of things because it's a uh, it's a really uh, difficult to film the project and try to capture those uh, specific details and I think it's a, a better idea to have um, separate on um, just a, a tutorials and th something like that. Anyway, again I started with the uh, box. I will try to, to add some of the footage of the uh, process itself. Uh, maybe just a, a small video on the side. Uh, but once that I ended uh, all the um, all the stitching on the uh, borders of the two pieces, um, I ended up with uh, like a rectangle two-faced cordura, which is uh, good because it's uh, a little bit more rigid than one of one piece alone. Um, then I added these four uh, things that you see hanging. Um, two of them has these uh, small plastic buckles and the other two has they're a little bit longer and they have uh, uh, two pieces of velcro one look feel and the other uh, more abrasive stuff on the other side and these things allows me to just to secure it in position on the uh, visor um, I think this, uh, this is the short side so as you can see, it will secure it to the um, to the visor in this fashion because the uh, panel is on the um, visible part of the visor. So you have the uh, the little mirror on the inside and the visor. Uh, the, uh, piece this piece will be uh, always visible. Once there, I ended this um, these pieces right here. They are a little bit uh, complicated because it has a, a lot of stitching on a really small surface. As you can see, you have all the box stitch and a few other stitches just to give it more uh, rigidness to the um, to the uh, strap. So once that I end all the four. Uh, Watching right here, I started to lay down all the um, the pieces that I wanted to have on the front of the 
of the panel I ended up with uh, three pieces three <laughs> pieces of uh, molly webbing um, two pieces of elastic band and one piece of uh, velcro the piece of velcro I thought that it would be for adding uh, patches but you will see um, just a bit that I use it for another uh, another thing the three uh, molly webbings are with the uh, right space between the, um, the stitches so you can add anything that it's molly compatible to the pouch and even you can add the pouch to another thing and not necessary to the uh, to the visor but um, again the uh, molly webbings are compatible with the uh, anything that can attach to a molly system um, the um, elastic band the first one has it's uh, divided in three pieces like the uh, webbing and the other one is only uh, divided in two and this gives me a little bit more of room just to took um, just to put something that it's bigger than the uh, normal space of a uh, of a molly webbing and on the um, on this side you see the uh, velcro that I already talked to you so how to, to create this uh, part um, I started I put all the things you know in the order that I wanted I just uh, make three passes on one of the sides I came right down here just to secure the velcro and I make three passes on this side too and then I make three passes on the uh, three uh, first uh, pieces which are the two uh, molly webbings and the uh, elastic and then I come right here and make uh, three passes on the elastic in the middle because uh, I wanted the two slots and I uh, come right here and make two passes on each of the um, the stitching for the last webbing part and uh, this stitch right here um, secured more the velcro in place so that's pretty much it how to to create it I will uh, already told you that I will try to add some food some of the footage um, sorry if I don't add too much uh, the main problem is that uh, the angles of the camera are, are kind of a tricky thing and it's a it's a little bit hard to get uh, uh, clean shots of the of the action I should say <laughs> so the other thing it's the how to how I set up this uh, little thing let's start it with the uh, the knife I will just put the knife between the um, elastic right here or maybe we just put it behind the uh, molly webbing on the center like so it's a little bit uh, big for what I wanted to but it's nice right there um, uh, flashlight I will take um, yeah I will put the flashlight right here through the um, through the elastic like so and I will secure it with the uh, line yard that it has with this piece of velcro right on the uh, velcro part that I told you this for patches but I use it for secure things um, next a pen which always is nice to have a pen just to take notes and draw, draw things I guess <laughs> Another important thing on this kit is the uh, seatbelt cutter. It has a uh, this protective cap that I made of uh, shrink tape. But don't worry, I, if I try to cut uh, something with the uh, tape on place, it will just uh, fly away. So it's a, it's, a, it's a secure way to to carry, but it will not interfere with the uh, purpose of this uh, little guy. And uh, we'll tuck this guy right here and again I will secure it in place with a, a little bit of velcro my bluetooth headset 
it's an old Bluetooth headset that has this uh, little uh, thing that flips around, flips uh, around, just to, to just kind of uh, turn it on. And I will use that small um, thingy just to, as a clip to secure it to um, this piece of webbing. It's easier to to add the things when it's uh, on the uh, on the visor. And last but not least, just a piece of plastic with a clip and a few uh, sheets of paper to take notes. This will go between the visor and the panel and I will use this small um, metal thingy just to secure it in place so that's pretty much it for the setup I will uh, go to the car and I will show you how to I will show you the uh, how, how it's uh, set up on the visor thank you so much guys bye bye so I am in my car right now as you can see I have the visor right here on the panel and what I wanted to do is just to unclip it from one of the side because it's uh, the uh, best way to, 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 to secure it in place clip it again use one of the straps to secure it into place this use the other one to secure the other side like so stretch it like this and there you have it it's nice and secure it's uh, on place as you can see all the things are accessible uh, it's a uh, nice and snug on the uh, sorry there you go. Now you can see it better. And you can still use it. And you can still use the visor. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, leave a comment right down below um, to see if you like this kind of content. And I guess that I will see you in the próximo. Nos vemos.